Uh, I'm Nelson Joy, I'm a filmmaker, a uh, author, and those are my two main gigs. I write books, um, and I make movies, primarily documentaries. The great thing about doing documentaries, much like doing books, really, is that you get into these worlds, and uh, the world of Magic Johnson, the Lakers in the 80s, the world of Fort Greene as a cultural center in the 80s and 90s, the world of ballet, which I'm in now, completely different worlds, and you learn a lot about how community works. A lot of these things about community. I'm working on uh, The Hippest Trip in America, which is a book about Soul Train. Um, it actually, unfortunately, was commissioned after Don committed suicide. Uh, the publisher did after his passing. It was going to be very tough because, in a sense, it's a, a requiem for a guy. You wish you'd been able to have that kind of book when he was alive. So uh, one of the things I, I decided to do was focus on dancers. Uh, one of the biggest parts of the book throughout are the celebration of the dancers. They were the real stars of the show to me, even more than Da, and even more than the performers who came to the show. Uh, the Tyrone Proctors, the Rosie Perez's, the Demita Joe Freeman's, Marco de Santiago, uh, and on and on and on. There's a whole world. The Soul Train dancers in Los Angeles were stars. They were celebrities in LA, and some and, and people come on the show. Aretha Franklin comes on the show, or. Uh, uh, the new edition comes to the show, and they know the names of the dancers. They are, are awed to be with them. The girl with the long, the Asian girl with the long hair, show song. All the guys want to get with her. People knew who they were before they went on. And I'm not just talking about the audience. I'm talking about the stars who went to perform. You gotta remember, there were there had never been a show like this on TV. There never been black people on TV every week. Your whole family could watch Soul Train. And your grandmother, your mother, everyone was kind of aware of what the hustle was. And everyone was doing the hustle. And the whole family could watch it and, oh, that's the hustle, blah, blah, blah. But there had never been a show that brought black style, black dance, black flavor on a weekly basis to America. So it, um, it set a new standard. And so everyone watched it only because, we'd watch it even if they weren't that fly, only because it was a matter of seeing black people. The fact that it was so captivating, it had our favorite singers, our favorite music, and all the style. The Dance on Soul Train was a select group of people who got to dance on Soul Train. They were regulars and they were, you know, people came in. In this era, everyone can be their own Soul Train. What's up, man? Hey, good to see you again. Good to see you, man. Absolutely.